professional matchmaker Samantha Daniels and live from the Big Apple this is the Wendy Williams show and on today's show sizzling hot topics Nick Cannon and Mariah Carey they are renewing their vows for a third time is there trouble in paradise plus Halle Berry's big breakup why can't she hold on to a man and parents is it wrong when you make girls do different chores around the house than the boys how you doing <laughs> How you doing? Samantha, can you just tell us what we're doing wrong as women in relationships? What are we? What is wrong? <laughs> I don't know if we have enough time for all of that. But I give you a few. <laughs> well, first of all, I think that a lot of women are showing up on dates and they have this fantasy guy in their head, uh -huh. and so they're getting there and they think to themselves, "This is exactly the kind of guy I'm looking for." And then they sit down and they see this terrific guy, but they don't even notice him because he's not matching up to what's in their head. So he's 5'11 and has green eyes, and she wanted him to be 6'1 and blue eyes, and hello, green eyes, 5'11, still good. Yeah. But she doesn't see it because she's looking for that fantasy guy, and that's a problem. Are you suggesting that women settle? Uh, <laughs> um, I think that some women settle, but I think that it's actually the opposite problem, uh -huh. where they're sitting there and they're waiting for the perfect guy to come right. along. And if they wait and wait and wait for that perfect guy who's in their head, he's not coming because he can never measure up. He doesn't know what's in her head. The second thing that they do all the time, too much pressure. I mean, we know that women do this. They go on a date, they have a good time, and they go home, and it's like they're in kindergarten writing his last name in their notebook. <laughs> they do that. They fantasize, oh, we're going to be married, we're going to live here, this is what we're going to be like, and you can't do that. you got to take it slow. Men are on different time clock than women are on. I was one of those girls. I was one of those girls, too. Ah! We were all one of those girls. <laughs> First of all, how do you feel about uh, he and Mariah being together? I think they seem like a great couple. At first I was surprised, uh -huh. but they seem like they're really in love and they're very <coughs> supportive of each other and it just seems to work. So I think that the renewal of the vows for the third time in two years is a little strange because most people wait to 20, 25 <coughs> years and then they say, okay, well, been married for 20, 25 years, we'd like to do it again and show each other how much we love each other. Okay. Two years, these people, we know we, they love each other. They're PDA all over the place. They're kissing all the time. They love each other. So the question is why? three times in two years. And you know what? I was saying that also, but then I was saying, then why do I judge Nick and Mariah differently than Heidi and Seal? Because to me, they are the most. They are the, the, that's from the 60s, you guys. That means they're the coolest. They're the best. <laughs> they're the most. They look like their marriage is happy. They, ha they look like they have a lot of good sex. They yeah. have beautiful kids. Do you judge them differently? Five times in five years. They re just renewed their vows too, Heidi and Seal. I mean, I don't judge them. I like them as a couple because they're both very successful but in different industries. Uh -huh. And so I think that they work really well together and they just seem to be really supportive. I think that people will judge Nick and Mariah more because of the age difference. Yeah. I think that with uh, Heidi and Seal, Seal's uh -huh. older and Heidi's younger. And so that one is, seems more natural to yeah. us. So Nick and Mariah, it's a little different, but I think it's great. I mean, Mariah wanted a more traditional wedding. Yeah. So she said to Nick, I want something more traditional. So they did it a third time. And guess what? I think they're going to do it every year for the next 25 years or for as long as they're married. I think that's what they're going to well, do. The it's first their year thing. They it's their shtick.